Hello friends. In this little small series, we are going to be talking about different things that raw vegans, different foods, items that people who are in the raw industry keep in their diets, but they are not really raw. They are just, but they still are kept in a lot of raw vegans diets because this helps them to stay high raw. The next on our list is maple syrup. Maple syrup is something that a lot of vegans and raw vegans love to use in their recipes because it, well, it's a sweetener and it absolutely tastes amazing. This helps them to stay high raw. So maple syrup is made with only one ingredient which is pure maple sap. Maple sap is a, maple syrup is a great substitute for sugar. It's a perfect sweetener. Maple syrup is made by boiling and concentrating sap from trees, therefore making this product not raw. So it is vegan, but it's not a raw product. But again, maple syrup is something that many raw vegans like to keep in their diet, and it helps to keep them high raw. Let me know below what you like to keep in your diet to help you stay high raw. And again, friends, remember that most vegans, raw vegans, especially on social media, are not 100% raw. So don't feel pressured that you have to be 100% raw. I see this in a lot of videos from new people who are really hard on themselves because they are not 100 or cannot be 100% raw. But remember this, all the people, all the YouTubers that you see on, on social media, on any platform, raw vegans, they are not 100% raw. Analyze, look at their videos, look at the past, look at everything current, everything. They are not 100% raw. They are high raw. And, you know, there is nothing wrong with being high raw. There is no one, and I will repeat that, no one who is high, who is 100% wrong. No one is perfect. It doesn't exist. Trust me, it does not. It doesn't matter if you don't cook your, any of your foods. If you incorporate any of these products, maple syrup, nutritional yeast, cashews, anything, if you incorporate any of the, there's hundreds of things, hundreds of items that are not considered broad people, use in their raw diet. If you use any of those products, even if you never cook any of your food, but you use those products in your foods, then you are not 100% raw. You are high raw. And I know some people don't like to admit that, but that is the truth. So do not be hard on yourself because you cannot be 100% raw because I'm telling you right now for a fact, 100% raw does not exist. So be kind to yourself and eat high raw my friends.